Hello, welcome to Tilly Natural Soaps. Today I am stamping my bars of soap. This is my Versace type for men. And here's my stamp. Make sure I got it on the right side. Yep. So I like to stamp my soaps. You keep your name out there. So it's still a little soft. I was trying to wait. Let me see if you can see it. See right there. And I'm going to actually get a bigger stamp so I can see the things a little better. When I ordered this, I thought the front, there you go. I thought the front was going to be big, but it wasn't. So things happen. There you go. So it's pretty small, but it's on there. I just like to keep everything with my name on there. I put my name on my labels. My name is on my gift bags. And these soaps are big. I made them too big. So since it's starting to get cool here, I'm also going to be doing my... my elixirs for cold and flu. I make um, elderberry tea, elderberry syrup actually. And I do it with, I do it two ways. I do it with honey. I don't do the elixir. The elixir has the alcohol in it. I can, but I like mine to be family friendly, not let somebody put in a special request with the alcohol, but you have to pay for it in advance. But I do it with honey. I do the elderberry tea plus the flowers. And um, what else I put in there? And some other things. I also do the elderberry cough drops. But I don't think I'm going to do that this year. Because the simple fact, um, it takes a long time to do the cough drops. You have to cook the syrup and stuff up like um, you do candy. Like the candy apples. You have to get a candy consistency, uh, pour it in the molds, but sometimes the molds, I don't know. Um, I take them out, but they get, um, they get sticky. I try different ways. They say use powdered sugar, will stop it from sticking. They say use uh, cornstarch, nothing works. It still gets sticky, so. I need to try to figure out how to keep them from sticking before I sell them. These are my little ones that I did. They, well, they're not really little, but I used the flower mold for these. So, and here's one. This is my cool water type. And because it wasn't enough to fill up, I put the rest of the... Um, Versace on that. So I'm going to save that one for my husband. And like I say, here's the, uh, just write on a piece of paper what the soap is and when it's ready. Normally I put what colors I put in there, but I already have my labels already pre-made. So I don't have to add that on the labels. Here's my cool water. I made this. This one of my big sellers too. Mm. So when I do this soap, I'm going to um, order more um, fragrance oil. I'm sorry, I ran out of fragrance oil for this because I don't keep it in stock. I normally, my ones, I normally do like 40 of them at a time. But I think I might have to do my 20-pound slab. I get a lot of soap out of that. They don't have to worry about these two cents for a while. I don't like to make too, um, too much because I like them to be fresh. The bars be fresh. But I um, usually don't use, lose the scent with these because the scents really stay. The fragrance. 
that I buy from. And I don't buy from everybody. I tend to keep the same. I tend to keep the same people that I buy from. And this was um, where I did the soap and I poured in the middle, the black in the middle. And then I did the hanger swirl on it. I have a friend who buys this for her husband all the time. And she's so silly. I have quite a few. And then I have another friend um, that buys this. He buys it and he loves it. So he'll get like four or five bars of the same scent. And then he told me his wife told him he couldn't wear it. He couldn't go outside like he was two because she didn't want anybody to smell him. Because somebody walked up on him and asked him what was he wearing. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I do make good products. I will tell you that. And I like to test my stuff. I give them out. Before I do any new products, I, I actually give out the samples for people to test them. So these will go on the grind rack. Suspended in air, so it can cure. So air will go all the way around, all over it. I don't have to flip them. At one time, I just had them sitting down, and I will flip them every couple of days to make sure they dry evenly. But I just put them on a suspension rack now. And here are my little travel samples that I made. They were too tacky to take out the mold, so let me see how they are now. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop these out and I'm going to let them dry. These are my Versace's as well. Versace type. So I'll let this dry because um, I'll pass these out with my business card or like when people spend a certain amount of money, I'll give them a sample. And I'll just usually just put these in a little bag with the name of the soap in it. I don't do no fancy laboring for these. But I do put my name of my soap on here. So what I do is I just take the thing from the side. Let me make sure I have it right. Yep. Take it from the side and I just go like this around the circle. That's my name. So it's a little bit too tacky for me to do it that way. So I'm going to let the, you can see the blue in that one a little bit. I'll let them dry a little harder, let them get a little harder, and then I'll stamp my name on it. So here you go. Let me see if you can see that. Yep, those are my little ones here. Okay, don't forget, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to look at or purchase any product, go to www.tellyoursnaturalsoaps.com. You will see my business website in the bio. Thanks for watching. Toodles.